and welcome to the Waffle Flower channel. It's Shannon here and today I'm using several stamp sets. I'm going to be making four cards. First I'm going to use this flower circle stamp set. I'm going to be using that uh, the second largest circle from that set. I'll be using Votiful stamp set, that bow tie there, balloon messages stamp set, and even the stocking stamp set today. I'll be making four cards and in these cards today I'm going to be focusing on adding color to your uh, stamped images without coloring them. And these cards are really fast and easy to reproduce. I'm going to be using several colors today, array of them all waffle flower inks. And I have my panels already cut. Three of my panels are four and a quarter by five and a quarter. So they're a little bit smaller, and then I have one standard panel which is four and a quarter by five and a half. So there's all my four panels. They're all 110 pound white cardstock. Start with one of the smaller panels. And I'm going to stamp my background. So I'm using the flower circle stamp set, that circle right there, which is the second largest circle in the stamp set. And it is a primarily solid image. It does have a bit of like a, a pattern to it, but it's basically a solid image. And I'm just going to stamp the background with those rainbow of colors. The first was You Said What, now I'm doing um, Oh Happy Day, My Pleasure. So I'm stamping in all these different colors and just creating um, and overlapping some a little bit, but making like a rainbow of different colors of a background, a colored kind of polka dotted background. And not even using my Misty this time, they just stamp really beautifully. and. And you can do this with a more solid stamp set, another um, a shape stamp set like a triangle or a square um, or another circle that's just more solid. This one, like I said, does have a little like texture to it, but same principle, kind of something that's more solid, a more solid kind of stamp set works best for this, or, or solid stamp, I'm sorry. Okay, so I did the same thing on each one of the panels. I'm going to start with the two smaller ones and I'm going to stamp this smaller one with that balloon outline image from the balloon messages stamp set. I'm using VersaFine Onyx Black Ink and again not using my Misty this time. I'm only going to use the Misty today for uh, my uh, sentiments which means this is these cards are really fast they're just and it's you know classic stamping so it's kind of nice to get away from your Misty every once in a while and do some you know, stamping with your blocks, free and easy. So I'm just stamping this balloon over, and you can use any image, but um, I'm going to do kind of birthday themed cards. Each one of these cards are going to be birthday themed. That's why I chose a balloon. But whatever image you choose, choose something more of an outline. It works better. Otherwise, it gets a little too busy with solid images. But so here now, I'm going to use the bow tie from the Bowdoinful stamp set. Again, much more of an outline. Uh, image. Ink this up in the VersaFine Onyx Black ink and stamp that repeatedly over the uh, polka dotted background. And once I have this all stamped, I will move on to stamping my sentiments. So just stamp a couple more of these. And so just that background um, polka dots that we stamped is going to be added. That's the only color we're going to add to this. Just that little bit of color from that will really um, add a lot of uh, interest to this card without having the need to color all those images. So really fast. So those two panels are basically stamped. All I have to do now is do my sentiment. So I am using Misty for the sentiment just because I like to stamp the sentiments twice to make sure they're nice and crisp. I've got uh, it's a it's your birthday from the eat cake stamp set and I have uh, it says big um, boy today from the big day stamp set I've got them already positioned in my misty and again I'm using the VersaFine onyx black ink fold these over fold the misty over here and stamp them and then I'll ink them up one more time to stamp it again sentiments is like the one thing I really do like to use my misty for because that's the Sentiment is where you can make or break a card. <laughs> so I don't like to take too many risks with my sentiment if I can avoid it. Alright, just stamping it one more time to make it nice and crisp. 
and those are almost done. I will do one more thing to both these two panels, but I'm going to let that dry. That Versa Fine Onyx Black Ink is a pigment ink, so it remains uh, a little wet for a little bit longer, so I'm going to let that dry while I work on the other two panels. So these two panels I've done everything pretty much the same except for I stamped the um, background similar, but I then instead of moving on to my images, I stamped my sentiments. And now I'm going to stamp a shadow. So I've inked up this sentiment again in uh, like a pro, which is a gray. And I'm sorry, my head's getting in the way. And I've just offset it just a little bit. So it's not completely centered. I've just offset it. And again, I'm not using my Misty for this because this is not very difficult to do. It's actually pretty easy to do. And you're intentionally offsetting it. And I'm going to stamp it twice just to make it a little bolder, a little darker. And I'm not I'm not super concerned about getting exactly where I stamped it before. I'm trying to line it up, but I'm not that's not my I'm not very very concerned about that. But there's a little shadow. It's a little bit hard to see, but there's a little shadow that helps to give a little bit of dimension. It makes the um, letters pop, and you can also see it a little bit better. Uh, it helps the sentiment break away from the background, which will really matter for the first two panels that we did. I'll show you how I do a shadow on those two panels later. So just stamping that sentiment, that uh, shadow again. And I do have to stamp. So this stamp set is really awesome, this big day stamp set. You can change it. It can say big um, girl today, big boy today, or big day today. So really, you can really personalize some cards with that stamp, this stamp set. I really like it. So now I'm just adding a shadow to those to the girl and the day. Okay, so that's all done. Now I'm going to start stamping the images. So I'm going to use the uh, big day stamp set again and I'm going to use the ice cream cone which and the cake as well as some stars. I'm going to just use a uh, present from the stocking stamp set. I'm going to start with my simpler one which is the big day today and I'm just going to stamp that cake stand around or that cake on the cake stand around the sentiment. So on the other two panels I stamped my sentiment directly on top of my stamped images. This time I'm stamping my stamp I'm stamping my stamped images around the sentiment. So I just want to show you guys two different ways to kind of do this idea. You don't have to stamp directly on the images, you can have the images also go around your sentiment as well. And now for this big girl today, I'm going to use a, that's, that present, which is from the stocking stamp set. I chose this present because it has a very similar line thickness to the, the rest of the images. So if you are combining uh, stamp sets, take that into consideration, the thickness of the lines so um, of the images. That way everything seems more cohesive. And I stamped the cone and there's also like a little whipped cream that I stamped on top of each of the ice cream cones and then a little cherry that goes on top which is so cute. And then I'm going to do some stars. Again, all those images except for the present are from the Big Day stamp set. And that's done. So those are my two stamped panels where I stamped around the sentiments. I'm going to set those aside to dry a little bit because again those are all stamped in Versafine which is the Pigmentique. Now my first two panels are dry. Now I'm going to show you how I stamp a shadow on these two panels. Zoom in here. Now you can see where the uh, sentiment is overlapping a lot of the images. I'm going to use my white gel pen wherever the sentiment and the image the overlaps with the images. I'm going to take my white gel pen and just go over where they connect, where they touch, where they meet. And that will create like a little white border around the letters and that will help the letters to pop away from the background. This is a really great trick for when you want to stamp on top of your stamped images to get your sentiment to um, pop away from those stamped images so it becomes in the, the foreground instead of the background. 
And I learned this trick from Kelly Lottavola. It's a really handy trick for when you want that, when you want to have your stamped sentiment on top of your image. So really help, really helps to make it pop away from the background. So just going around all the letters with my white gel pen, breaking that intersection. You can go completely around the whole sentiment, but um, I didn't feel the need to do that. This will also help by adding that white because I am going to stamp a um, shadow on this as well. Uh, this will also help to make sure that gray shows up um, at those, those intersecting points because now I'm stamping on top of a white as opposed to a black. Continuing to go around, I'm doing the exact same thing on the second panel. Just taking that white gel pen and going, breaking that little um, intersection or that point where the stamped image and the letters meet. Okay, so I finished the white gel pen um, border on both of these sentiments. Now I'm ready to stamp the shadow real quick. So I am taking that same gray, like a pro, uh, dye ink, inking up my sentiment. There it is there. Gonna ink up my sentiment and then offset it again down to the lower left. And I will stamp these, I do stamp these twice just so it's nice and dark. And sorry again, apologize for my head being in there, just trying to line it up and get it in the right spot. Okay, so that one's that's done. I'm going to do the boy real quick here. So very similar to, actually it's exactly the same to how I did the ones pri prior. Um, just, I just, the only difference here is I did the white outline with the gel pen first with these ones. And again, that's be only because the letters um, were a little harder to distinguish from the um, background images because I stamped sentiments on top of the images. Okay, so that's done. Both those panels are done. So those, my first two panels are done. My second two panels are done. Now it's right time to mount these onto the card bases. So um, I'm gonna do the smaller panels a little bit differently. I'm going to add a little dimension by um, putting some uh, foam tape at the very base of the um, panel and then I'm using just tape adhesive at the top lining it up here where the top of the panel is at the top of the card of, and the fold is at the top. This is our top folding white 110 pound cardstock and then this what this does is create a little bit of depth at the base of the card where it looks so you get a little bit of shadow and a little bit of interest there but the top of the card is nice and flat so it looks very cohesive it almost looks like um, a, a folded a fold as opposed to me actually adhering a panel on top so it has a neat look I really like to do this kind of uh, dimensional panel this way sometimes I did this on all of those smaller panels I did the exact same um, mount with the foam tape and the tape ad adhesive at the top. And then for the one of the panels, the larger one, I just trimmed it down an eighth of an inch on all the sides and then just adhered it to a A2 top folding black card base. And then I'm going to show you one more card here. I didn't show you this in the video. We didn't make this together, but I just want to show you what it looks like with a more solid stamp. Very bright and bold. That's just because there's no texture on, on that circle stamp to break up the color a little bit, but I like both of them. In fact, I liked all, all those. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to add color um, without actually coloring your stamped images. If you want any more product info, please visit waffleflower.com and you can follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for more creative ideas. Have a wonderful day, guys.